See that deer behind me? See him down there? I don't know if you can see it, but I got a deer at the feeder down there. Anyways, guys, <laughs> we are here with a review of the PSE Full Throttle. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss this one. We're going to tell you all about this bow and uh, how sweet it shoots, as well as a speed test at the end of the video. A little bit of slow-mo. We'll let you know what you need to know about the uh, PSE Full Throttle. Stay tuned. The message of the Holy Scriptures is absurd, and the life of the Messiah is meaningless. Unless we believe that He walked perfection, and that He died for my substitution, that His resurrection is no illusion. All right, guys, bow hunting Radneck here, here to give you my opinion on the new uh, PSE Full Throttle. It's actually not so new. It's uh, better than a year old now, uh, out of production. I always wait till the following year after the first year of introduction because you can get these bows a lot cheaper. I think the list price on this is over a thousand dollars, but you can actually get this bow if you buy it the right time of the season. I bought it last January. I actually got this bow. Uh, not with these limbs, but with 55 to 65 pound limbs. I got it for a screaming 500 and about 30 dollars off of eBay. It was a um, a demo model that a uh, uh, a uh, guy who was uh, selling these in his bow shop uh, was selling on eBay. So I got a screaming deal on this. I've switched it out with these 50 to 65 pound limbs because. My arm, uh, last January when I got this bow actually, I was shooting it at about 63, 64 pounds. When I was 48 years old, I shot 70 pounds all day long. But as I get older, I'm, I'm losing it. In fact, uh, last January I was shooting this very bow, trying to get a feel for it, at 64 pounds. And I pulled, I actually didn't pull it, but I, I tore a muscle right here in my elbow. And of course I've had, uh, if you've been watching my videos, I had hand surgery a while back a couple of years ago so that's probably had something to do with the fact that my carpal tunnel they popped this tendon here and it's created some problems here in my forearm but anyways uh, enough of my sob story let me get to my opinion on this bow uh, first of all just to give you uh, what I'm I'm set at and what I'm shooting I'm shooting um, my hunting arrow with a target tip on it at about 380, 390 grains. Um, I'll put the, the exact number up on the screen there for you. I'm pulling at about 52, 53 pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. And then, um, what else? I think that's just about it. Uh, all the specs I have on the screen there for, for you, I'm not going to go through all those. Uh, those specs are on the screen there for you to take a look at. Uh, this is the fastest production bow that you can buy. And the list price is over, well over $1,000, but I guarantee you, you can get a much better price than that, depending on the time of season and, um, and where you want to buy it from. So uh, also, one other thing uh, before we get to shooting, I'll show you a few things and go out and shoot this thing, um, is the, it's cam specific, just like the, the uh, PSE Omen. I own the Omen before this, and when I go out and shoot, I'll show you the differences between uh, the two bows, because I, I, I actually sold that one, uh, so I don't have it anymore, but I'll tell you the differences, because I still remember very well uh, how that bow uh, shot. So uh, let's get outside, and let's get to shooting. All right, guys, we're outside here, uh, getting ready. We're about 20 yards. Just want to give you a feel for this bow and talk through some of the things that I like about it, uh, maybe some of those things that you won't like about it but as far as I'm concerned there's really nothing uh, bad about this bow um, it's nice and smooth pull again I'm pulling just over 50 pounds and so I'm gonna concentrate here 
Um, the awesome thing about it is it's a really smooth shooting bow. Um, you can hear it doesn't have any noise as I was shooting, but um, really smooth shooting. The uh, brace height, a lot of people worry about that. I think it's well less than six. It's about five and a half, maybe five and a quarter, I think, something like that. Really, the reality is if you're a beginning shooter, you're not really going to want uh, this bow. Uh, you're going to need to learn on a, another one before you get uh, graduate to this one. But if you're an intermediate, I mean anything past a beginner, you've had a full year of hunting behind you and shooting, uh, this would be a bow definitely to get. Uh, again, it's the fastest production bow in the world that you can get. It uh, really does a, well, a good job flinging those arrows like fire. Now again, um, you can hear how fast that thing's shooting. I'm going to do the uh, uh, test on the speed test on it uh, at the end of this video, but uh, and also a slow mo. But um, the awesome thing is, this thing I can shoot 52 pounds and still be flinging arrows like fire. It's amazing um, how. Uh, this technology of today is being used. Now there's one issue that a lot of people you'll see in other reviews that they'll talk about uh, and that is that there's no valley in this bow. The valley of course being when you get it back and locked and tight uh, every speed bow that you get is going to want to take off on you just like this. So if you creep there's no creep forward it, it just wants to take off but the, the key to shooting a, a bow like this is make sure that you have the correct poundage. And uh, this, this bow will make you a better shooter. It'll discipline you uh, to hold it back uh, before you release. Um, now the key is if you're shooting too much pounds, uh, that thing's gonna wanna pull out of your hands. It's gonna be really hard to, uh, to aim. But you can see my group right there shooting pretty well at 20 yards. See how it wants to take off on you if you relax too much. But, um, this thing, you can split arrows with it at 20 yards if you keep uh, shooting in the same spot like I'm doing right there. It's a good group. But anyways, this will give you a picture of what the bow is like. I mean, if you if you have trouble shooting 70 pounds, go down to 55. Because with this bow, you'll shoot as fast as a bow at 70 um, at about 55 pounds. Why would you want to shoot anything that's heavier than that? Um, it's just a just an awesome bow to have to do that. So um, one last arrow, and then we'll do a speed test. But uh, I hope to get back. I, like I said, I got tore a muscle in my elbow. I hope to get back to to 60 pounds, and then I'll be shooting over 300 feet a second again. So, all right, we got the uh, chronograph out here. This is the Caldwell Ballistic Precision Chronograph. So let's uh, see what we're shooting at with this bow, just over 50 pounds. Uh, here we go. We're going to shoot three arrows and take the best of three. Two ninety-four. That is blazing fast for just over 50 pounds pull. I mean, we're talking blazing fast. I have, I had a, uh, in 2010, I shot uh, my first biggest buck. Well, decent sized buck. He's hanging on the wall. Um, and I was shooting 70 pounds, Bass Pro Shop, 294. Oh, looks like we got a, a mistake there on that one. A 294. I was probably shooting about 280 at 70 pounds, 285. Maybe 290 at 70 pounds. And this thing at just over 50 pounds is shooting faster than that bow did. Amazing. Make sure I get it right over the top. It's like 294 again. So we're good for 294 is about what this thing will shoot at uh, a little better than 50 pounds.
All right, folks, what can I say? This is a sweet shooting bow. I absolutely love it. Again, I've been shooting it since last January, about seven, eight months ago. This is, uh, well, opening day of bow season is tomorrow here in the state of Texas. So, in fact, we have some pretty awesome uh, deer this year. Got a couple of big shooters that are running around out there. Uh, one, maybe a couple of uh, um, management bucks. Don't have any brow tines. We want to get rid of all those. But uh, we're going we're gonna to be uh, at it hard uh, this fall, so be sure and watch us on our hunting videos. But anyways, this, this is a sweet shooting bow. I would not say it's for the faint of heart or the, the beginners, but it, it, I definitely would fit the intermediate to advanced shooter. Also, it's going to keep you honest. If you're shooting 70 pounds and you're wanting to stay above the 300 mark, you can get one of these babies or you're having trouble shooting the 70 pounds. If you're having trouble, you can drop down to 60 with this bow and probably be shooting faster than the bow you're using right now. Just keeps you honest. You got to pull against the wall and hold it tight because uh, it is a speed bow. It doesn't want to come out of your hand. Nice aggressive cams. That's the reason for that. But uh, PSE hasn't let me down now. I've, I've owned three different PSE bows now. This is my third. I owned the, uh, I owned the PSE Omen. Uh, that omen had the cams, that last little hump was a hard one to get over if you ever got tired or out there shooting uh, consistently. And so this one has lost that, it doesn't have that hump anymore. And uh, plus it got three more feet per second. So isn't that cool? Um, anyways, 294 uh, feet per second uh, at 50, just plus 50 pounds. That is blazing blazing fast so I, I really you really don't have to shoot any faster than that for deer that are 20 30 yards because they're not going to duck your arrow at that fast anyways you might want to check it out at your pro shop uh, or you can uh, the best way to buy it is going to be something like on eBay uh, that's the best deals I've been getting on bows as of lately um, I got this one for about 525 if you can believe it this is over a thousand dollar bow and I got it last January, is after the hunting season. So when the hunting season's over, start checking out sales on this. These will come on sale just to try to boost the, the sales before they go into the spring and then start coming out with a new model. So this is a Bow Hunting Radneck or Indian Creek Bow Hunting Journal. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure and check out our other videos from before and uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, thanks for watching.